Hi there, today I'm unboxing the Surface Go. I've got the brand new Surface Go keyboard and the Surface Go here in the box. The Surface Go is the new 10 inch tablet from Microsoft. It replaces the Surface 3. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox that now. So the Surface Go is an ideal device for people like students and uh, casual computer users. Wrapped in plastic as always. Try not to drop it. Really nice looking device. It's got a little bit more of a rounded edge on it compared to the Surface Pro. And as you can see, it now has the full kickstand with any angle settings, just like the Surface Pro does. It's also now got a Windows Hello face recognition camera, and it's got the eight megapixel camera on the back. So those are a couple of specs that are improved. Interestingly, for the Surface Go, we have a Surface Dock connector here and a USB-C. We've also got our power cord. So the power cord that comes with the Surface Go now actually uses the Surface Pro style charger connector there. Uh, that's good from my perspective, just for a bit of consistency across the range. We'll find out if it also charges via that USB-C port because that might be a really good option as well. And in the box, the last piece is just the warranty cards and quick start guides, which nobody's ever really gonna read. So we'll put them aside. That's what's in the box. And now I have the keyboard. So there's a little plastic strip on the back. Surface Go keyboards come in at least three different colors that I know of. There's the uh, burgundy, not sure what they call this particular color here, but it's sort of a bluey green type color. And also a, a gray type keyboard. They're covered in that Alcantara fabric. Very nice compact keyboard, great big trackpad here and really nice key layout, again, compared to the Surface 3. This is a really good improvement. Fantastic. And lastly, I have already unboxed the matching pen to go with, and that attaches there to the left-hand side of the screen with the two magnets in the pen, two in the tablet. It's gonna have a good, nice, firm connection there. So, that is the new Surface Go. So we'll go ahead and get this set up, and get it started. So I'm just running some setup here, but in the meantime, I just checked and it turns out that you can charge the Surface Go via the USB-C port on the side. It uh, just requires a USB IF certified charger that puts out enough power, more than 15 watts, to be able to charge the Surface Go. But that's really handy because I could use the same charger to charge my mobile phone and also the Surface Go. One of the things that I really love about the Surface Go, just like all of the other Surface devices now, is the Windows Hello inbuilt face recognition feature. This is a brilliant feature on laptops. Um, with this form factor, it's just so easy to unlock the screen without having to type your password in. And I think it's essential for any device that purports to be a tablet. So I'm gonna go and just run the face recognition wizard here. I'll just type in my pin number, I'll hide that from the screen. And you can see it's now just looking at my face and analyzing that. That's using that infrared light at the top there. It's running a, uh, a three-dimensional face scan using infrared. And this is a biometric system. So it's actually not looking at a picture of my face. It's looking at biometric points around my face. So now if I put the device to sleep and then wake it up again, pretty quickly it's gonna recognize me and log me straight in. So that is by far the easiest way to log on to a device. Now, while I'm using the Surface, it's just asking me to sign in, but um, what I've found so far is it's pretty snappy. I'm moving between different programs. I've run Word, Excel, PowerPoint, things like that. 
This device runs an Intel Pentium processor, so it's a fairly basic Intel processor. It is a full Intel processor though, and it will run any application that you would run on any other normal computer. But uh, it is cut down. It's not a high performance processor. It's designed for good battery life and um, reasonable performance. But if you need a faster computer, you'd probably go to something like the Surface Pro. But if you're just looking for something to do a little bit of work in Office, take some notes in OneNote, a few Word documents, PowerPoint presentations, things like that, then the Surface Go is a nice mobile form factor and it should do those jobs just fine. So I just want to compare the Surface Go in size to the Surface Pro, which I have over here. Now let me bring that across. So you can see straight away that it's uh, quite a bit smaller in size. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to detach the keyboard there just so that we can see that up close. You can see that it's a lot smaller, the device. And if we have a look at the keyboards, you'll see how much smaller the keyboards are as well. So it's a very similar keyboard layout to the Surface Pro, but I have that found so far that that is quite a cramped keyboard to type on. It feels really good. I really like the feel of this. The key travel, the key setup is really nice. The trackpad is brilliant. Look at the size of the trackpad compared to the Surface Pro there. It actually is a little bit taller by the looks of it than the uh, Surface Pro trackpad. But yeah, the keys do feel a little bit cramped, but I'm sure that's something that you'd get used to. Um, you tend to adapt pretty quickly to the keyboard that you have on your device. So that's the new Surface Go 10 inch device. It adds a new and interesting element to the Surface range, a more mobile, lower cost device. I think this is gonna be really interesting. We'll have a bit of a play with it over the next few months and let you know how we go. But if you found this tip helpful, remember to give us the thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more tips on how to use the Surface Go and the other Surface products as well. Is this thing on? <laughs> for those of you who can't figure out what's inside of this box, we're going to open it. Well, I really haven't thought about what I'm going to say. <laughs>